Today we're going to be covering the secret star location for week 9, the locations of all three solar arrays, as well as tips and tricks and secrets for the other challenges this week as well. Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one, it is time for my week 9 challenges guide. Oh my goodness, after this we only have one more week left, that is crazy. And also, as you probably noticed, this guide is a day early, that's right, we're going a little bit back to the old school days. I don't usually like to post them early, but thanks to Lucas7Yoshi on Twitter for posting some pretty reliable early challenges and also I wanted to upload a video tomorrow on some 14 days of summer challenges. I wanted to get this video out to you guys today so hey a little bit of a bonus for this week. But yeah guys if you find this video helpful be sure to hit that like button down below. Also comment down below what tier or level you guys are at. As a reminder continue to do these challenges after you're at tier 100 because it helps you get XP which is like for the fort bites and other challenges and stuff. It's helpful. But yeah guys without further ado also hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to do that but without further ado let's jump on into it here and um, these are the challenges we're going to be going through they are in order of how they appear in the video so let's go ahead and jump into it so first of all we're going to be talking about the search chests at lazy lagoon or happy hamlet showing you guys some secret chests then we're going to jump into the secret star that's not part of like the official list but as you guys know it's like a bonus challenge then you've got use a chug jug or chug splash in different matches visit a solar array in the snow desert in the jungle show you the exact locations of those deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds of landing from a volcano vent, deal headshot damage, show you some tips and tricks for those two. Also get an elimination with different rarity weapons and eliminate opponents in different named locations. But let's go ahead and jump into it with the first one I want to cover as I said, the search chests at Lazy Lagoon or Happy Hamlet. So for this one, those two locations are fairly different, but they're fairly new as well. So you may not know where every single chest is. So let's go over some like secret ones. But first of all, as for the game mode, I would actually recommend doing whatever the LTM is at the time. I know a lot of people like to do Team Rumble, but the tough part about that is that pretty much everybody does it in Team Rumble. So you're fighting your teammates, sometimes even opponents to try and get chests. But if you go into like an LTM and go to the farther away location, a lot of the time people aren't trying to do challenges in those game modes. So that's why I recommend it. But as for the chests themselves, let's start off with Happy Hamlet. But with Happy Hamlet, I would first recommend going to these two locations, the ones that you can see me going to on screen. They're sort of like at the lowest point of Happy Hamlet, but there's one room that's sort of like a basement area that not many people even really go into and then if you go right outside and like wrap around go in this other room right here those are two chests that like nobody ever grabs because they're like on the lower level of happy hamlet now with that being said you can then go up through the floors of those buildings there's generally chests at the or at least near the top or in the roof pieces of these buildings and also there's this weird room in one of the houses that like has nothing in it i don't know i thought that was kind of funny and then i also recommend going to these like really slanted rooftop pieces because you can't land on top of them you can land on the side of them but then keeping it going here with lazy lagoon i would avoid the pirate ship and the main city at first and instead recommend going to this spot right here because as you can see there are three chests that can spawn here right away and that's a great one to grab if all three of those are there then after that go to this island right here there are also two in these boats these are a little bit far away though so i'm not 100 sure if they count but then you can also go to this island over here and that's like a ton of chests right there and then you can go onto like the pirate ship and stuff like that and finish up your challenge that way but moving on here to the next one the secret star location there is for sure a secret star since it is an odd numbered week so hey you get a free battle pass tier or even xp if you already have tier 100 which is always nice basically let's jump into the location of this and as always you do have to complete nine weeks of challenges it is a lot but you have to actually unlock the ninth loading screen before you can get access to this star but yeah for the exact location go into any mode and then drop over towards mega mall this one is actually actually at the new location Mega Mall, which is a ton of fun. But as you can see, if you go on down there, you want to go to the uh, giant actually mall of the location and enter through this part right here on the west side of it. As you can see, as soon as you enter inside of there, you will find this car behind these like roped off, whatever you want to call them. But the star should show up on top of there. Again, as long as you've completed nine weeks of challenges, you've unlocked the loading screen number nine. It should show up right here. Now, for whatever reason, it changes. As always, check the pinned comment down below for updates. Sometimes Epic Games glitches out a challenge, but this star should honestly show up right here. Oh, and also guys, if you find this helpful, be sure to use code the Lamaser in the item shop. I appreciate it a ton, but getting back into it, after that I wanted to talk about the Chug Jug or Chug Splash challenge because I actually have an amazing way to get this one done like super easily and find Chug Jugs and Chug Splashes like without even trying. Well, I mean, you obviously have to try by going into games, but you get what I mean. <laughs> and then after that, we'll jump into it with the Solar Array challenge. But yeah, for this one, basically 
basically what you want to do is go for the airdrops in team rumble within this game mode airdrops drop a ton throughout the match but they start dropping at four minutes on the first storm moving timer so keep an eye out for that you can loot a little bit maybe get some materials and then as soon as those airdrops show up on the map immediately go for them and it also helps if you're already close to the circle but within those airdrops they're a little bit better in team rumble and a lot of the times they have these items that you need inside of them and again you can go for these throughout the match they spawn like continuously and not every airdrop has these items but they have them like quite a bit you can even find like these items on the ground sometimes from people who just left them there from the airdrops so yeah that's by far the best way to go about doing this challenge so be sure to check that out moving on here to probably one of the toughest but most important challenges this week that is the visit a solar ray in the snow desert and the jungle and i have all three of those locations for you guys right here and real quick before we get into that guys if you haven't yet be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because i post these guides every single week helping you out get the challenges done with tips tricks and secrets but getting back into it yeah with this one you do have to visit solar arrays which are basically the solar panels in the different biomes and stuff like that so getting into it with the first location let's start off with the easier ones and then get into the harder ones but the easiest one is probably the one in the uh, iceberg biome i would say because that one's been around like forever i think the longest one but basically you want to head over to uh what's the name of it frosty flights you want to head to that location and go towards the hangars once you're over there you want to go behind the hangars on the south side and you will find a solar array right back there so simply you know land by it or something like that and then you can go on to the next one this location also works great because there's a bunch of vehicles here that you can use to move on to the next one which is fairly far away but it's possible to get them done in the same game because like speaking of the next location the one inside of the jungle obviously that's pretty far away going from this biome all the way over to the jungle but for this one it's on the northern side of the map uh right above the pressure plant if you go up there you will be able to find this location with um like the outpost type buildings and stuff like that and to the north of those buildings you will then see another solar array i believe this one was actually a near a fort bite a while ago so you may know the location from that but either way this one should work as well so simply go on up there and that is the second one now after that the toughest one is the one that can be found in the desert because i'm pretty sure this one was just added this season but basically for this one you simply want to head over towards paradise palms once you are at that location go to the east of paradise palms and you will find up on top of this hill the final solar array that you need to complete this challenge and get it fully done so yeah guys there is all of those locations but keeping it going here with the next challenge then i got some good tips and tricks for it but basically it is the deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds of landing from a volcano event but the way i would recommend doing it is first of all not doing team rumble but instead doing solo the reason for that is obviously because players are more spread out in solo as opposed to like team rumble there's also more players in solo than team rumble now with that being said obviously you need to go into the jungle biome i'm pretty sure that is the only location this season that has the volcano events and honestly this works out pretty great because you can try to deal some damage on people that are maybe going for chests because there's a bunch of volcano events around there and then also with that being said you have to keep in mind that other people might be doing the same thing so if you're looking for chests you know keep an eye out but then after that you have a fairly actually it's kind of a tough one but sort of an easy one at the same time it is to deal headshot damage now what type of tip or trick do i have for this one well basically i really honestly recommend not worrying about it at all i mean you can and get it done slightly faster but this is one of those challenges where if you're just playing normally playing games normally just playing for fun you're gonna get this one done anyways by just you know everybody gets headshots when they're playing normally even if you're not really trying to you end up getting them a lot of the time so honestly that's how i recommend doing it but if you want to try for it obviously you know being on flat ground maybe somewhere like neo tilted and keeping your crosshair level can help you get headshots also using like a combat shotgun can be pretty effective but honestly it is a pretty straightforward one but personally i recommend not even worrying about it or at the very least focus on the other challenges first because if you happen to get into some battles you might just end up getting some of this damage done without even trying to but after that then you can actually maybe couple it with this next challenge even which will save you more time and this challenge is the one where you have to get an elimination with different rarity weapons so again very straightforward and i think this is actually a stage one which is a little bit annoying that means you have to do it in separate matches which honestly i do sort of hope eventually they change it so you can just do the stages in one match that would make it so much easier but for this one you know obviously it goes from gray to green to blue to purple to orange so that's pretty straightforward but the key to this one is again trying to couple it with other challenges if you try to get some headshots with this you can save 
save time by doing that. It can also be coupled with the last challenge, which we have to talk about in just a second here. But overall, try to do some other challenges as well. That's the best way to go about doing it. And then for the final challenge I want to talk about in this video, this is the easiest challenge of this week. It's not even really a challenge. Like, come on, Fortnite, give us some hard challenges. Give us something difficult. Well, there are a couple of difficult challenges, but I mean, like this one, eliminate opponents in different named locations. That's not even really a challenge. So with that being said, the tricks that I have for this one are basically surrounding the other challenges. That same theme with these past couple of challenges I've talked about, trying to do them together because if you have to get an elimination in a named location, might as well try to get it with a different rarity weapon, whichever one you need at the time. And on top of that, going for headshot damage as well. You can maybe even work on four at once if you happen to be at like the pressure plant and use one of the volcano vents. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but coupling it with another challenge or two is definitely the best way to get this one done and save time. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that subscribe button down below for more challenge guides coming up soon. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, going over 14 deleted leaked skins. And then on the right, my previous guide for the unicorn floaties. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.